he kind of, I, I don't know if he, he won a battle here. I don't know if he's winning a war here, but he's survived so far. Doesn't mean the Knicks aren't going to try to get rid of him. What can you get for Carmelo Anthony? If you decide that we're going to build around Porzingis and here we go with another three-year plan, then Carmelo doesn't factor in. With the Nuggets, Carmelo Anthony made the playoffs seven times. With the Knicks, Carmelo made the playoffs three times. Back in 2009 with Denver, came up two games short of making the NBA Finals. They lost to the Lakers four games to two. Boy, that's a distant memory. The analytics are terrible on Carmelo. But can he go, and and I'm talking about now, the analytics of the last year or two are terrible. But if he goes and is a third or fourth option with somebody, although do you want him at that price at $27 million? They still have to pay two more years of Phil's salary. Who knows who they're still paying with the New York Knicks? Probably still paying Isaiah Thomas. That would be the one hire that would make it worse today. If they, James Dolan said, we're bringing back Isaiah Thomas. But who are you going to? Jeff Hornacek's probably going to be out of a job, too. Poor guy goes in, doesn't really get to coach them because he's got to coach under the triangle offense. And uh, a new front office guy is going to bring in his own coach. Going to be a lot of names out there. I did see a name. The Toronto Raptors GM, Masai uh, Ujiri, he was – now, I, I think he's fleeced the Knicks twice. I think he he was in Toronto as the GM when he sent uh, Bargnani to the Knicks. Oh, God. He was also in Denver when they sent Carmelo to the Knicks. He might be a good guy to have. He might not want to go to the Knicks. It's like, who am I going to be able to rip off? Well, that's why the Knicks want to hire him, obviously. <laughs> he took advantage of us a couple of times. Let's bring him in. That sounds good.